Welcome back to Crossout, where today's episode is all about the Avenger Cannon. We're back on Meat Grinders with the Hobby Cabin here. Triple Avengers. This is the white cannon, the common cannon for those of you that don't remember. And also probably not the best weapon, but just figured I wanted to have some fun today. Drop the power score a little bit and get into a nice little bracket. We had relics in the previous game, so this time just go in the complete opposite direction and go for the cheapest cannon in the game the uh build is uh something i just put together here lightly inspired by the bossards from mad max as you can see from all the decor and stuff we have on and i'm actually really pleased about the result looking super dope super nice build here we go oh and the hobby cabin has gotten light in it i don't think it had that previously did it well it has now looks great looks great indeed and there is bait angel on a weird plane build which also looks very dope let's engage that as we talk about today's video and we're just gonna take this for a spin we're gonna play a few games in it see what we can do with it i don't expect too much i just wanna wanna have some fun with it basically and the avenger cannons are i think they're pretty funny because it's a nice little cannon not too big of a size so it's it's easy to put into your build without too massive of a hitbox while having a decently fast reload speed and a fine damage fine damage indeed so without further ado let's get started getting straight on into our first game and i mean just look at this this is absolutely beautiful of a build we got going here fits so nice to this map in general Let's see where where do we want to go here? That dude is that dude is hammering us a little bit with his uh, auto cannon there. So we're just gonna we're gonna gonna stick to some cover here for now. Let's see, oh I think those dudes look a bit like pre mage judging from those builds. They look oddly, oddly similar. So gonna assume that they might be. We've got to be careful about that if they engage us. Because then they will probably engage together. Let's go down here. And... Can we get a line of sight here? We can. Fire. Nope. I hit absolutely nothing. We should be able to push down here just a bit further. Good hit on that dude. Oh. And a fat man dude there. Let's see if we can be careful about him. There. Tanking a bit of damage. Built still looking good. Still looking good indeed. So I don't think we have to be too careful just yet. Alright, his rockets are down there. Let's see. There you go, dudes. I am a free target here right now. You guys can just go get your hits in on them. Get some damage in on them. Oof, they are pushing up there. Is that elephants? Those are elephants. That there we go. Beautiful. Good pop there, homie. Good pop. I feel like we wanna we wanna be careful here because we do have some people coming up there. Should be able to rotate around here. Go this way. Good hit on that dude there. Got someone coming in behind us there now. There. Good hit once again. That build is so hard to degun. <laughs> well, that's it for the first game. Let's move on to the next one. And right on to the next one. Should we do should we do four or five today? I don't really know. We're gonna figure we're gonna figure as we go, but for now let's just keep going. Oh my god, that is literally a hovers in a cabin. <laughs> People go nuts with those light hover builds, but they can be brought down though, so it's 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 all fine. It's all fine. They can be taken down. That was a decent hit right there. I feel like we should go maybe just a bit closer. I wish really wish the the meat grinders here would just be this maneuverable when you had three or four of them if you can man like move your build like this on heavier or higher power score meat grinder builds then the meat grinder would just be literally perfect uh for so many situations and for so many high power score builds but people just don't build them because if you put four meat grinders on here you just lose all that movability that we have right now like you're just far less agile and you just become big and bulky and it's hard to strafe and turn at the same time so i really just i really just don't like what meteor grinders feels like right now it, unless you have two that is because if you have two then they are literally perfect then like they're everything you can ask for in a good movement part let's start pulling back here that dude is a bit scary Shit. Okay, you can take out guns quite easy here. Got to watch out for that. Good hit there. 
Very nice. Oof, good hit on that dude. I think we took one gun off him. We did. There we go. He is now dead. Very nice. That was a very really good round. That was a really good round there. Can we just get a shot in on him right here? Oh, nice. <laughs> Next game. This time on Acid Lake. Try not to drive into it here as we approach them. Let's, uh... Let's sit around here right now, just with our buddies here. These two dudes look well armored, so we're just gonna just gonna hang around with them for now. I'm scared to just fully rush in because we do have a gas gun. So if someone with fire like just decides to take a peek at us, then we instantly just explode on ourselves, and then we are done. Don't really know what I'm doing here with the meat grinders, but we're doing good. Just going for a little spin roo here as we move. Oh. Scary stuff. That's what I said I couldn't do. Drive into the acid lake, but I decided to do so anyways. That is not too bright. Don't really like the gun elevation here on the uh, Avengers. It's quite hard for me to even aim up there. Do we have anything blocking it? I don't think we're blocking the the gun itself and reducing its uh, its gun elevation. I don't think so. But you know, we'll have to see. Oh, crap! 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 That is one scary tank. Good thing we got out of that. Okay, he's still chasing us down. He really wants that kill. He really wants that kill. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Kind of trying to side strafe here as we move because I'm a bit scared about those uh, goblins blowing up our our gas in here. But you know what? Seems like our, half of our team died already. Oh god, we didn't flip. Very nice, very nice. Keep going. Oh shit, okay, you can so much see the gas can in there. That's not very good. I just want to keep on going here. We're not very fast. 60 is not, like, optimal. In general, this game is just not optimal right now because the entire team is, you know, almost dead, as I said before. So I do feel like, I do feel like this comes to an end there. Yes, it did. <laughs> Let's proceed. Another game. I think we're gonna do one more after this one, then we are done with this build. Having plenty of fun in it, it's it's a pretty chill build actually, and, and a nice power score here at 6,700. There are a decent amount of seal clubbing hovers here, which we, um, we can actually fight that quite all right. And I mean, Avengers might be white cannons, but it's still... It still packs a decent, pun decent punch whenever we get a good hit on our enemies here. At least sometimes. There we go. Took off. Did we take two of his weapons? I think we did. It is just a bot though, so, you know. It's probably alright. Kinda, kinda scared about those. Those drones are there. Don't wanna fight them. Is he gonna come out this way? He is. Wow, that was an absolutely terrible hit. That was actually so bad. My ping is at 100 on it for some reason. I don't really know why, but. You, you kinda get. You, you know, you feel it when you're playing games like this. I have no idea what I'm doing right now there all right nope and there yep there we go he's down they're gonna win in just a second here because they have two cap points very soon so let's just see if we can just at least sit on the edge of it here oh and take that cricket hover down don't think we have to worry too much about him anymore would love to see my team in here though no one is gonna come inside of the circle nope they're all just gonna oh there we go josh went in can we just grind this dude there there we go. He's dead. Very nice. We're free. Nope. No one went into the cat circle for some reason. So we lost. <laughs> All right. We got we got, we got the chance to avenge that last game here. We are on chemical plant once again. So let's see if we can. Hopefully the team actually this time knows that you know cat circles are for cabin. Funnily enough. So hopefully they will assist me in there this time. Just maybe we have like a lot of dudes going mid here. I kind of want to do that because. Okay, he left. Uh, they are not gonna challenge C anyway, so let's just help them challenge B instead. And those two dudes over there can just get the cat by themselves. We should be fine with that for now. Oh god, okay. Just casually stuck on the wall here. Keep going, keep going. I don't really know where they went. They also have a couple of dudes who... Oh, I hear a toadfish over here. Do we go challenge him? Let's do that. Let's do that. There we go. Oh god, why did I decide to face hug him like that? That wasn't very too very clever. At least now my gas can is fully exposed, so you know we got that going for us, which is nice. Uh, we don't we don't really want that. Let's see, he's gonna drop. He's oh wow. Okay, he 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 kind of blocked the shot there a bit, but it's fine. 
This build is a bit front heavy now because of the fact that we lost our entire rear because I had to just ram. Okay, that wasn't a, that was a bush. Oh god, oh god, okay, he has Kepkins too. See, now the tilt there is fine though. It's well worth it all of a sudden. This drone guy though, we gotta we gotta watch out for him. Because he is he is annoying. Wait, did that drone there just take my top gun? He did. I hate that you I actually have to spend time focusing these things. But I guess we do. I honestly think we're gonna lose this one as well. What a tragedy! No! <laughs> I feel like we did our part though. We haven't really done well this uh, this video. But it's fine. The build is good. And that's what matters. And the build is beautiful. And that also matters. And then we also have a deal with the Caucasus and drones just stacked on top of ammo there. So, looks a bit shady. Doesn't matter though. And that'll be all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this build. And this maybe serves some um, inspiration for future builds of your own at least i really really like building these and i think they look so good so i hope you guys will think that too catch you guys in the next one thanks so much for watching bye bye